Hello, hello, my friends. We are talking here about level 16. This one was brutal, let me tell you. I think I took about two, two and a half hours of um, on and off coming back to this, trying some things, giving it a rest, and then coming back to it until finally, finally settling on this, this setup here. So, as you'll see, there's only two of these controllers. A lot of these I just had to time. The unfortunate thing about this one is that there is a really big timer for, uh, what's it called? There's a very big restriction on the milliwatt amps that you can go over, so you can't really utilize everything that's at your disposal. Uh, and then the wastage is very low for items that have a lot of ingredients, like the beach burger here, a lot of ingredients, a lot of things going on, and then this as well. Uh, throw in the the first time you have to make a salad with with dressing there yeah this was a this was a rough recipe here so anyway the way that we ended up going about this is pretty standard for the fries we'll start with that uh, just on while pending on while pending and then the dispenser is controlled so we have this nice little L shape nice and compact and that'll go right out then the chicken salad I ended up having to time this out in such a way where there is no real way to avoid wastage, which is one of the things that irks me about this game is that the way that you accomplish all of the objectives is solely within that little time span. You can see that it's starting to fall to pieces towards the end here. And I saw some people using that A16 computer with actual code, and I wanted to challenge myself to see if I could avoid that, but definitely there was a lot of people who opted to do that, um, and it just looks like voodoo to me right now. but. Who knows, maybe I'll have no choice to get into that in another level. But for now, for the chicken salad, I had the raw chicken set to 14 seconds, the tomato to 16, the tomato, uh, the carrot to 16, and the lettuce to 8. So I put these on, you know, the 16 second, 8 second, because we need two, twice as much lettuce. And here I backed off by 2 seconds because there's the, a delay for the chicken getting here with the cooking. Eventually that starts a cascade effect given enough time, but... Uh, given, you know, the amount of time that we have to accomplish our objectives, then it works just fine. Uh, the other thing is I have this griller on power saving as well as this one. I did try a, a conveyor griller. I tried one of these guys and I had all three things that need to be grilled going through it and I just could not get it down. I think the most I had was 249 so uh, for the ingredients used. So that means I was super duper close to getting it, but I ended up having to abandon it, abandon it because I could not get the patties off fast enough. Anyway, so speaking of patties, the beach burger here, uh, mushroom, 21 seconds, burger bun and tomato, 21 seconds, and then the raw patty, seven. So yeah, I had to actually increase the time for this because we were wasting too much ingredients. And you'll see as we get this started, it's just, the, the sense that any of this makes is just baffling to me. Because you lose like half of your reputation just to achieve your objectives. And I feel like that's just a re really poor design, in my opinion. 240 ingredients is nothing, but we're using the bare minimum. Whoever gets those burgers before they run off gets those burgers. But I do observe and I wonder about this, like the people waiting for their food are not waiting that long, maybe like a few minutes, and they just, I don't know, get impatient and they leave. <laughs> so the other thing I forgot to mention, but I want to mention now, is the storage unit. I have a storage unit here for the burgers because they take that long to make that you build up a nice little stack until you get into the 30s here and eventually when that rush comes they all go away. But that's the only way I could get any sort of edge here. Now that we're in the 30s we're going to start losing orders. Uh, the other thing is that there's an Exterminator 2000 here for infestation of the storage unit. I know it's kind of hard to see so it's just sitting there waiting to do its thing. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a really poor solution, it is not good, but it got me 100% efficiency, so I guess the reputation doesn't matter. I don't know. 
is very strange. I don't know why the robot gives us such uh, weird objectives that don't align with our reputation, but maybe robots don't care about their reputation. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me here. Hopefully you had some different variation of success on this one, but if you found it helpful, please throw this video a like or subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.